Hello, so today I'm not making a reaction video. I thought it would be fun to do something different and since it's the 60th anniversary I thought why not make a Doctor Who video. For the record I did not come up with this idea. I remember watching the Who Addicts back in 2015, 16, 17 and they made videos like this so all credit to them and they go by the TV and movie addiction now I believe. Thank you for the idea. So if you're not familiar with the video idea or the concept, basically what I'm going to do is I take every episode one from each series and I compare them and pick the best one. So I'll pick between Rose, New Earth, Smith and Jones, etc. And then I will do that with all the other episodes as well. And yeah, and that will be the best possible series in my opinion. So yeah, keep that in mind, it's just my opinion and also my opinion can change throughout the years. It's been some time since I rewatched all of New Who and also I've not rewatched uh, the Shibnal era. So I might not remember some episodes too much, uh, unfortunately, but in the future perhaps I'll make an updated version when I recently rewatched the series. Also, I may talk more about some episodes than not. I don't want to make this video too long and also sometimes I just don't have too much to say about certain episodes. Nothing against them, just not perhaps my favourite or I don't really have too much input on them. I would love to hear your ranking in the comments below, so please do that if you want to. Yeah, that's basically it, so let's start with episode 1. So for episode one, we have Rose, and that was the first episode I ever watched, so it will always have a special place in my heart. I still, to this day, love this episode very much, and it's a very good introduction to the Doctor, Rose, and also Doctor Who as a concept, or as a TV show. I did not know too much about the show before I watched, and it made me very intrigued. I remember when Rose goes to Clive and he shows like the pictures, the Photoshop pictures. I thought that was so cool. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this show is very cool. So that, that really hooked me, that part of the episode. New Earth, uh, definitely not my favorite. I believe I watched like when Nine regenerated. I don't think, um, where I watched it they had the Christmas invasion so I just went straight to New Earth and I was really confused I was like what? <laughs> it was just like have I missed something and yes I had missed something but yeah back to the episode it's not my favorite I mean it's cool to have a recurring villain although Cassandra isn't my favorite <laughs> villain although it's very heartwarming the end scene when she talks to herself so I'll uh, give the episode that and also it's quite funny seeing Billy and David acting <laughs> like Cassandra that's very very funny Smith and Jones and this is also a great introduction introduced Martha very well and her family I believe I liked Martha from the start and it felt fresh like the dynamic between the doctor and Martha he was also a doctor so that's very cool and also to see what that would lead to. I definitely prefer this over New Earth. The Jidun is introduced as well. I believe this is the first time we're seeing them. Also, I love the timey-wimey stuff in this episode where the Doctor takes his tie off and then later in the episode we find out why. Tiny stuff like that, I really do appreciate. Like even if it's not a big thing, it just elevates the episode for me. Partners in Crime. This episode is just very funny and it's nice. It's nice seeing Donna and the Doctor's chemistry together. They're very good. They're probably my favorite Doctor companion pairing. And I'm so happy <laughs> they're back. I'm really looking forward to the 60th. The villain, perhaps not the, the best, my favorite in this episode, but it doesn't matter. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of a cool, good episode. Although, obviously, rest in peace, the fact that passed away and if humans passed away as well. 
But apart from that, I don't know, it is a feel-good episode and it's just very funny. Like, there's so many scenes, especially, you know, when they're, like, miming to each other. Um, yeah, you know the scene I'm talking about. Donna is also my favorite companion, Martha also, but I think uh, it is difficult to choose, but perhaps Donna? I don't have to choose, I don't have to choose. It's not a ranking of the companions, so I don't have to choose, okay? <laughs> don't make me. But yeah, it's just, it's just great and a great start to their series. Also, Rose is back. What? That's so cool. Although I didn't know about it when I watched it for the first time. But I'll talk more about that when I talk about another episode. <laughs> the 11th hour. Very fresh. Everything is new. New everything. New title sequence, new doctor, new companions, new crew. Very well made episode. And it really renewed itself. It's the whole new mystery to the show. I really, really like the episode. Very magical. I loved how it was shot. And also, we don't really see it again, but like, um, I'll just insert the, the scene I'm talking about. I see. I saw. I saw. I saw. Yeah, that's very cool. They don't shoot it like that. Uh, ever again, I don't think. I don't remember it, but it was very cool. Very Sherlock-ish. The Impossible Astronaut. Really love this episode. It was so cool watching it, and still is to this day. Watching the silence for the first time, like what is going on, and also the Doctor getting shot. There were so many questions, and like how is this gonna get resolved? And then that they meet another version of the Doctor uh, later on. It's very, very cool, and also cool that it was shot in America felt very fresh, new and exciting and it really made me excited for the rest of the series. Another thing I really like about the episode is Rupert talks about when the doctor won't know who she is. The day is coming when I look into that man's eyes. My doctor. And he won't have the faintest idea who I am. It's like, oh, that's heartbreaking. Especially since we know, or well, we've seen it happen. Asylum of the Daleks. Not my favorite, if you could tell by my voice. It's a very interesting premise, but I don't know about the execution of it. Cool that Clara was a Dalek, very disturbing and sad. I did not guess uh, that. I just did not like what they did with Amy Rory, just sad and they didn't have to do it, just feel like they put it in this episode maybe to have more drama, I don't know, or something more in the episode. Because I mean, it gets resolved by the end of the episode, so I don't know <laughs> what the point was. Also that shot of uh, Amy, like when she's like hallucinating, that's very cool. Very cool shot. Deep breath. Very cool episode. Also felt very fresh. Capaldi is great in it. And it's also quite, quite funny. Also cool to see Vastra and the gang. Can we bring them back again? I, I miss them. <laughs> it was very cool. Like, I don't know, to, like, if you go back in time to the 1800s, you know, have some recurring characters that would be very cool. But yeah, we're focusing on this episode now. It's probably one of my favorite episodes, sorry to spoil. <laughs> I also really like the conversation Clara has with Vestra when she has the veil on, seeing how Clara reacts to the Doctor regenerating. It's also really heartbreaking when 12 is like, you, you can't, can't see, see me. me. Like I'm standing right in front of you and you can't see me. I feel so bad for him. And then also for 11 to then call to say goodbye to Clara. Goodbye, Clara. That's very heartwarming. Very beautiful and sad episode, but also funny. <laughs> the Magician's Apprentice. This was the first episode I watched live. I believe, or like the first episode that came out when I had started watching Doctor Who. I started watching it in 2015 in March. So yeah, I'm quite late <laughs> to the game, but you know, better late than ever. The Doctor played on his guitar, very cool, did not expect that. Also interesting to see Scaro again and Missy being back. Kind of difficult for me to separate because it's a two-parter that it kind of blend together <laughs> in a way, but I remember episode ending on a cliffhanger and that shot like in the field with all the hands it's very cool 
also concept of the episode as well like the moral if you know this person is gonna grow up to be a horrible person would you do something about it what is the right or wrong thing to do in this situation the pilot I feel like I say this about every episode but it was very fresh it felt very new I really liked the episode and just felt like something something nostalgic about it and Bill was great Nardal I wasn't the biggest fan of him in the earlier episodes he's been in but I really grew and I think a lot of people felt the same like they really grew to like him in this series so I'm very happy they brought him back it was nice to see the doctor having another companion this Clara had been like um, there for quite some time she had the opportunity to leave several times but she always came back so you never got to see 12 have another companion uh, so it was, it was nice to finally get that no hate of course towards the actors they're great I'm just talking characters and it's nice to see like how 12 would interact with someone else as well and see a new companion is also very exciting the woman who fell to earth so I watched this live I believe and I really enjoyed it I was a bit scared like oh my god how is this gonna go because people were skeptical about this new doctor and this series so that also made me worry like oh my god if people don't like this then perhaps doctor who will get cancelled and that just made me really sad because I love the show so much and I never <laughs> want to see it end but I really enjoyed the episode and I mean uh, Doctor Who is still here so obviously some people enjoyed it uh, luckily <laughs> yeah it was very cool to see the new Doctor and I really liked her in the episode and also when she fell through the roof I was like wow that's really cool because like the theme song played in the background and I really like the theme song for Chris Chibnall era really like it and the title sequence only thing I thought about though was it was quite sad because Grace died I really liked her and I wanted to see more I know she um, she makes an appearance in later episodes or if it's just one episode I can't remember I did not expect it to be that sad the first episode Spyfall part 1 gonna be honest don't remember too much it's also a two-parter so it kind of blends together been some time since I watched it as well but I did enjoy it and the master reveal was very cool I don't think I cooked it I don't think I expected it and I was like what is going on when I saw that house flying like outside the plane window like oh my god what that was very cool the Halloween apocalypse it was funny and I believe was it after this episode the evil Dan memes came to life because they were very funny the weeping angels also returned and there was some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff with that with um, Claire was that her name Claire I think but if you want to know more about my thoughts you can watch the reaction video <laughs> if you want to so now is the time to pick the best episode of episode ones and it's difficult I like them all there's not one I dislike or hate I do really like Deep Breath and James if you're listening I'm sorry I'm not gonna pick the 11th hour I know you love that episode um, but for me it's gonna be the impossible astronaut I love that two-parter and yes the mystery and the silence and timey-wimey stuff it's just what I love about this show and it's a very cool concept and also River is in it very cool, so yeah, that is my pick for episode 1. The end of the world. What I like about this episode is not the aliens or like the world ending, is that we get to know about the Doctor more. I love the conversation Rose has with the Doctor, like, who are you? And he starts to get more and more triggered and doesn't really want to talk about it. Like, all that matters is here and now. 
within by the end of the episode. We have that speech from him. My planet's gone. It's dead. And then they go and get ships. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so for that reason, I really like the episode. But apart from that, not really my favorites. I mean, it's the introduction of Face of Bo and Cassandra. But other than that, nah, not really my favorite. Tooth and Claw. No, not my favorite. <laughs> I don't have too much to say about it. David gets to speak in his Scottish accent for a bit, I believe. Tortured is mentioned and created. Also, like when the werewolf or wolf is talking to Rose when he sends the wolf in her. Say your eyes, you've seen it too. Say more. The wolf, there is something of the wolf about you. That was also cool. Other than that, no, not really my cup of tea of episode, I'm afraid. The Shakespeare Code. I don't know, maybe episodes two aren't my favorite because this isn't my favorite. I do like they have some fun references to Harry Potter. Other than that, I don't really know. <laughs> it's cool that he talks about the book because it wasn't released like the seventh book by that time. I don't like how he treated Martha, like I feel really bad for her when they're lying in that bed and he keeps talking about Rose. I know he's grieving and stuff, but poor Martha, I really feel for her. And it's cool to see historical characters. But yeah, it's not my favorite episode. Don't hate it, but it's just not my favorite. The Fires of Pompeii. Wow, such a beautiful and sad and dark episode. I always find it quite interesting to see the Doctor angry or like when he's more like dark. So that's a reason why I like this episode. Also, Donna like please save someone. It's just really heartbreaking. It's and it's so nice like that he ends up saving someone and it was Donna that like helped him. It also like referenced what she said in the Christmas episode. Sometimes I think you do need someone to stop you. Also, Capaldi and Karen Gillan is in the episode, which is very cool, of course. <laughs> the Beast Below. Cool concept. Not my favorite, though, but it's really cool and it's very dark. They keep on voting for the same thing over and over again and torturing this poor creature. Day of the Moon. Not as good as part one, but I still really like it. I love these two parter. Don't really have too much to say about it, but it's become very iconic, like the, the marks on the arm and the um, spacesuits. Dinosaurs on a spaceship. I don't know, it just feels very random. <laughs> this episode, I don't remember the plot or like what is going on. Because like bits and pieces like robots, they're probably not just robots, but I don't know. And then we have David Bradley, so that's cool. And we have Mark Williams. That's also very cool. Was that the first introduction of Roy's dad? I think so. He was nice. And the Silurians were back, I think. This one was shown on screen. I can't really remember. And yeah, oh yeah, now I remember there's like historical characters as well. Like what? I don't... <laughs> it was just a lot going on and it felt very random. Don't hate it, but I don't particularly love it into the Dalek. Very interesting concept. Can a Dalek be good? Although I do, when I'm saying it out loud, yeah, it sounds like Dalek from series one. <laughs> I think perhaps people have talked about that, but I mean, it is different, but when I'm saying it out loud, it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it sounds like I was talking about that episode. What I do like about this episode though, is like, is the doctor good? Am I a good man? That whole thing, very cool. Feel bad for the doctor, I wish someone could uh, reassure him. Is Clara says, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, River says, best man I've ever known. I can't remember when, but she says that. So hopefully he knows, and he knows by the end of his run, I hope, that you are a good man. And like I said, I like when the doctor can be dark and a bit scary. That is very interesting. Not all the time though. I like when it's funny as well. There should be a balance. The witch is familiar. Again, like I said with part one, the episodes kind of blend together for me. That Rose is back and it was very cool when he played like 
clips from the doctor's past. Also, I was really starting to feel for Davros when he wanted to see the sunset or sunrise, I can't remember which, when he almost started to cry, or did he cry? I think he did. And then he tricked me. How dare he trick me? Like I was starting to feel for you and you do this to me. Not okay. Not okay at all. But the doctor knew. He knew. That was good. Smile. I don't remember this episode at all. Like it's really weird. Like I'm really trying to remember but I don't. The thing I do remember is it was better than what I expected. And I think a lot of people at the time were worried about this episode that it wasn't going to be that good and it was a lot of talk about emojis that's all the ghost monument i did not like and i don't remember too much from the episode either unfortunately it did not live up to the woman who fell to earth in my opinion spyfall part two i don't remember when it's two part sometimes it like blends together so i can't remember what's in which episode and it's kind of with this one i remember it's in paris and the master is on the german side and the doctor doesn't she disable his i don't know the name i forgot but like his mask it's not a mask like he has like a shield so people perceive him differently like that that's dark um messed up other than that i can't remember too much but i did enjoy the episode i believe i I think I would have remembered if I really didn't like it. War of the Sontarans. I've made a reaction video to this one as well, so you can always check that out if you want to see my first reaction to it. I remember that I enjoyed the episode and I was starting to like this era more, or the series. It looked very promising. So time to pick my favorite episode too. And I pick day of the moon it's one of my favorite two parties of all of new who so i mean i just gotta pick <laughs> part two of it as well even though i prefer part one i still really love part two and the other episodes mm, they're not really maybe the fires of pompeii would be my second choice i don't really know though but yeah day of the moon it is The Unquiet Dead. It was cool to meet a real person from history. It was funny when the doctor talked to him about being a fan. It was also a very creepy episode and felt very different from the first two. Very sad that I believe, what's her name? Gwyneth died. I remember the first time I watched this, I was a very big fan of The Walking Dead. So I thought, oh my god, are they like walkers? This is so cool. Obviously they're not, but it was it was a cool crossover in my head, kind of. Also really like the quote at the end of the episode. My books. Doctor. Do they last? Oh yes. For how long? Forever. School reunion. Very cozy, nice episode, feel good. Sarah Jane returns. I've not watched Classic Who, but even then I could like feel, I don't know how much this episode means to people and it's just very heartwarming and very nice to see the Doctor and her reunite. Don't like that her and Rose argue though, although they did solve it, but yeah, that's quite sad. I wish they, they got along better from the start, but yeah, it is what it is. Also, we got to see K9, of course. Can't forget about him. Yeah, very sad that he sacrificed himself. I don't hate the villain or anything, but for me, why I like this episode is not because of the villains, it's more of the characters. Very nice episode. Gridlock. Not a fan of this episode, I'm afraid. The speech is very good, though. I did also enjoy that we got scenes with Facer Bow. Rest in peace. And when he said, You are not alone. That's very cool. And also that we know later who is very cool. Planet of the Ood. 
very disturbing episode and it's very horrible like how they treat the dude and also that scene it's very disturbing when they feed that um i forgot his name but the boss they feed him that drink that makes him turn into an ood <laughs> that is so disturbing oh he was thinking about it oh very beautiful when we hear the ood sing and at the end when they tell the doctor your song is ending soon oh god that's so sad and scary <laughs> really like this episode victory of the daleks don't remember too much at all so i don't really have anything to say unfortunately we got to see another historical figure which is cool and the daleks were back uh, i know a lot of people are not a fan of uh, the new daleks the curse of the black spot i don't really like to be honest and i don't really have much to say about it a town called mercy not the biggest fan of this one either i'm afraid and i don't really have too much to say unfortunately cool location robot of sherwood quite funny episode and interesting conversation about what is real how is the doctor more real than robin hood and remember doctor i'm just as real as you are so i liked the episode for those reasons the rest wasn't the biggest fan of under the lake spooky interesting and i remember it leaving us on a cliffhanger the doctor as a ghost right well it's not ghost ghost but you you get what i mean also i can't remember i think it's the second part of the two-parter that's a bit more timey wimey right they go back in time and i really like that uh, but i'll talk more about that in the next part then <laughs> thin ice i don't remember feels like uh, i say that about every episode now i enjoyed it but it wasn't my favorite or my least favorite so i don't really have anything to say rosa it was better than the previous episode and i really liked it the only thing i did not like was the villain it really didn't do too much and i think they could have cut him out and it would still be a good episode we didn't really need him and it was cool to see real life people and history orphan 55 the bernie episode that's all i gotta say about that episode once upon a time i believe you can watch my reaction to that if you want to know more what i think about the episode it was all right but not my favorite if i compare them all so if i'm going to pick my favorite episode three hmm, it's really difficult because i'm debating on two i think i'm gonna have to go with school reunion this is just so cozy and it's a feel good episode it's very unique in that way as well i kind of miss those episodes that just feel good and nothing too big happens i know i guess i guess really love it so before this video gets too long i'm gonna end it here and split the whole video into parts so i will continue with episode four in the next video i'd like to thank the neon hunter for making the thumbnail for me and also for inspiring me to make this video thank you so much and please check out his youtube channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye.